Brad's an asshole. And then she proceeded to emancipate the constructive citizen from their beheading. And then oh, a savage radical. journey to the heart of the American dream led to the fear and loathing in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, I did a lot of acid, like Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> I actually uh, dressed up for Halloween as Hunter S. Thompson, or Johnny Depp in the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I would walk around in random bars, walk up to two random people and say, there appears to be two women fucking a polar bear over there. Look, what? There's uh, two women fucking a polar bear. Don't tell me those things. Not now, man. Yeah, I walked up to people saying that, unless they actually knew Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and then they'd be like, yo! Nice outfit! But anyway, I was reading a book on skinny dipping, how to skinny dip, and um, I'm learning a lot from this book because I'm reading it upside down. Yeah. But what's up everybody, it's Sormac and I am at the Airbnb that we are staying at for MLG Atlanta. And there's something special about this Airbnb to me and a few other Sorm members. And that is that this Airbnb was uh, a place we stayed at last year. We stayed here for MLG Atlanta last year and the person that rented it to us was a really nice lady and she was, you know, really helpful and like considerate with our situation. She let us stay here for a great deal and we came here and probably... Uh, I don't know how to put this lightly, so I, I'm not going to. We absolutely wrecked the house. We straight ruined it. And <laughs> for some reason, she let us stay here again. I have no idea why she let us stay here again, but we're here again. And we're probably going to get down to the same shit that we got down to last year. We're staying here for the weekend just as a place to stay closer to Atlanta because the store house is actually like 45 minutes away from Atlanta. So we thought this would be better to just rent out an Airbnb. And it's tradition now to get this house. We're going to just get this house every year. Like this is like a second home to us. This house is fucking beautiful by the way and it's got some special things to it that I'm gonna show off to you guys right now it's absolutely beautiful from the outside check this out yeah this looks like a mansion I'm, I'm fucking locked out okay never mind. I thought I was locked out for a second well we got butters days then we got a Schmidt train right now but uh yeah this is the inside of the house this is fucking awesome yeah, so this is something that I unveiled last year. You open up this closet door right here that day has just opened and there's a door leading to another house. For some reason, someone lives right behind here. That's why we got a lot of shit last year because we were making a lot of noise and the person right behind this door right here could hear us a lot and they did not like it, not one bit. So I'm gonna show the upstairs to you guys now which is also really fucking sweet. Check this out, like what on earth are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, hello room. There's a fucking bunny. This is very demonic looking. I mean, it's a cool painting and all, but I would not want to sleep here. I don't know who's sleeping here, but good luck with that one. Hey, that's me. Oh, fuck. I might accidentally freeze this mirror. It was backwards. It's fine. Yeah, we got to check out the patio. The patio is like the best part about this house. Got another room right her, and another room right her. Lead the way, Smitty. Journey to the other side. Now, would you look at this? Right across the street from the house we're staying at, there are a bunch of bars. The Dark Horse Tavern, you can't really see it well. And then there's like another pub right there, and then there's a pub down the street. All right, now for you guys to see the best part about this house. There's like a haunted basement here. I swear to God, they have like dead bodies in it in here. I don't know how this isn't closed off, but we can easily access it through the bathroom right here. Yeah, the bathroom right here leads to the basement. I don't know why this is open, but oh my God, I can't see anything. I need to pull out my phone light, one second. So I got my phone light now, but check this out. This is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Look, so look at how low the ceiling is. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but I have to duck down to get down here. Like, it's kind of fucked. Not gonna lie. This is actually really fucked. Oh, this is not. I don't. Oh my god! Ah! Holy shit! What are you doing? I got lost. Fuck! You can't just do that! I'm talking about. Ow! Fuck, I just hit my head. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's really low. Fuck, I just hit my head right there. It's fine. But yeah, look at this fucking place, man. Why is this not closed off? <laughs> there's like kid toys down here, dude. I swear, dude, there's fucking ghosts down here. Yo, I, this is actually kind of terrifying. Holy shit. This light is just hanging from the ceiling. Don't know what's behind all these things. We have beers down here. Definitely gonna have to drink one of these beers later. I'm definitely locked down here. I swear if somebody locked me out, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my God. They can't have this in this basement. They can't do that to me. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, I am getting the fuck out of here. This door leads to Narnia. It's fucking terrifying. Fuck that. Hey, how's it going? It's pretty good. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. I knew something was about to happen. Because you guys were just standing there and like, you know, all nonchalantly. Sure, yeah, that was super nonchalant. Way to fucking go, huh? Fine, it was a good idea. It was a great idea, huh? Welcome to the fucking crib. We're, we're fucking back. Oh, shit. We're about to fucking wreak havoc in here. Yeah. Whatever. Dude, this house is so sick. We're way too familiar with this house. It's not good. Yeah. Oh man. All the ins and outs, all the secrets. Yeah, we know the fucking secret here. The basement. Remember the basement? Yeah. That's. Oh. We can still access that. We can still get in there. Hey, where'd it go? To the left, dude. Wait, is this is this house where the kid got lost down there? No, that was. Uh, no, that was Boston. Awesome. Welcome to the crib, yo. Welcome back. Yeah, we're back again. We we may have uh may have been here before. Just maybe once or twice. No, I for a, a weekend straight of no, straight I, bullshit. Yeah, something like that. You know, I I'd tell you about that first weekend. If I remembered any of it, I would. <laughs> we're about to do more damage this time, I think. And if you're down with it, I'm down with it. To the owner of the Airbnb, I wanna say I'm sorry, but then again. I'm not. I mean, that, that's pretty much all there is to say. I, you, you got a beautiful house, man, but we're gonna fucking ruin it. <laughs> yeah, no, she. I, I like straight texted her, like, yeah, we're gonna be partying a little bit. I hope you're okay with it. <laughs> no, I hope she wanted to walk in and make out. I, no, she's gonna walk in later and try to fuck all of us. She wants to have an orgy. No, yeah, she's dude, weird she, as shit. She keeps walking in here and she's like, yo, where, where's that kid that was fat last year at? And I'm like, will you fucking stop, ma'am? Dude, she was fucking feeling all my nuts and shit, like in front of everybody. And I was like, bitch, you need to stop. We're at a daycare. Man, that's right. This isn't a daycare. I mean, I'm. Not, so. uh, okay. He's here, so it kind of got to Hey, what's going on? Hey. Sir Dave! Yeah. Day one of MLG Atlanta is over. It's day two now, and uh, we all woke up a little late tonight because we we're a little hungover, I will not lie to you. And we had a crazy party last night. And I wish I recorded some of it, but right now, we have a festival outside of our house. We woke up to a festival. There's a soccer game tomorrow that everyone's preparing for by fucking drinking. They're just day loading. They're all drunk as fuck. Check this shit out. You got this? Everyone just came out to get fucking hammered. Some kid just walked up here and was like, yo, dude. And, and I was like, what? And he's like, do you have weed? No, sir, I don't. Starting fucking strong today! Let's go! Look at this shit, bro! We can hardly hear our music from all of the other music going on. There's way too much music being played, we can't even hear our music. But it's fine. Plaza, you're figuring this shit out. Let's go. And this is the fucking block party going down right now. This is the shit, bro. This is exactly what I needed to happen this morning. We're across the street from like four bars. Like, it cannot get better. This is out front of our fucking house. Colombia, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, Mexico, let's go! Yeah! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Wait. Puerto Rico! Just the two of us. It's like three of us. This is exactly why Clayton just did that in the crowd. Yeah. It's time to floss on PC. It's fucking go time. Dude, that says it's time to floss on PC right there. Dude, you have an excuse for doing what you just did. I mean, that wasn't on PC kind of in real life, but still. Yeah, he knew, he knew. He knows, he knows what's up. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking sick. That's badass. Yeah. Ass. <laughs> yes. It's time for S. They're trying to say Saturday is for the girls. No, it's time for S. Um, all of that sucks. That sucks ass. Fuck. It's time for fuck. It's time fuck. Okay. It's time fuck. 
built the towers in that dusty depot. Nah. Dirty bitches, I don't fuck around with musty people. Nah. But you can suck the shifty shafts, know what I mean? Make it clean for your mouth with a little salty spring. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm fatal in the field. Yeah. Snobby, but I'm sure you'll get bodied here for real. for real. Chopping down trees, got some bricks from the brick house. And I'm hard to steal, find me getting on the hill. 